have Shamala's CEO and co-founder Mikkel and he's going to tell us a little bit about the story behind the brand. Shambhala started uh, when my brother went to New York, New York um, and he got into jewelry. Um, he saw that, that the market didn't have jewelry for men. He started collecting things from all over the world and start designing uh, things. In, in 2001, he came up with the Shambhala bracelet. This is my personal bracelet where I have my initials for my kids and my girlfriend. And then I have Peve beads mm -hmm. all the way around. Black diamonds, white diamonds, pink diamonds. So you're saying that you can personalize and make I, your own... Exactly. People really want to be a part of what they buy. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, of course we have things that that's pre-made, which we design and, 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 and people buy that as well. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people want to be a part of the creation of a, of a bracelet. Chambala Jewels originates from an old mythological story and it comes from the Himalayas mm -hmm. and Shambhala was the kingdom where the king of Shambhala had studied a meditation technique and defining the old rules of not teaching that for the common man he taught this esoteric teachings to all how do you say all the inhabitants of his little kingdom and through years and generations of meditation they ended up living in harmony with each other. Um, the story then kind of disappeared. The kingdom apparently went into another dimension. But when the Buddhists, uh, when the Tibetans became Buddhists 500 after Christ, the story revived again and it became a place of tranquility and deep meditation and a possibility of an idea for humankind to once again live in peace and harmony with each other.